Hey guys, welcome back to all about the popcorn. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. Yes, you are seeing me yet again. I have been on a roll this week. There have been so many movie releases. Today, we're going to be talking about The Kitchen. I want you to teach me how to do it. Step off my business. So yes, we're going to be giving spoilers in this review. Last like three movie reviews I think that I've done, I've done spoiler free. So The Kitchen is rated R. It's a drama crime. It's an hour and 43 minutes long. It's directed by Andrea Berloff, which is actually her uh, directorial debut. Um, set to release August the 9th. Stars Melissa McCarthy, Elizabeth Moss, Tiffany Haddish, Dom Gleason. I don't know how to say his whole name, so I'm just going to shorten it. Comment comes on it as well. And also, The Kitchen is based off of a comic book. If you guys have read the uh, comic book, please let me know down in the comment section below what was the difference between the two. I would really like to know. I mean, I I'm interested. So this movie has been getting mixed reviews. You're either going to love it, you're going to hate it, or you just really don't know where you stand. More so, I think the people that just don't know where to stand is because they're not used to a movie like this where we get three amazing female leads in a mobster movie. This is based in Hell's Kitchen, New York in the 70s. So very like male dominant era. And of course being in the mob business, you know, this is predominantly a male job. The wives are just there, the girlfriends are just there just to kind of be there and be like the eye candy. And, and every like mobster movie that there is, you know, the females literally just there you know having kids or partying with them and being drug addicts they really don't have like a a main purpose so supposedly the family was going to be taken care of as little jackie so kindly likes to point it out yes we have a little jackie we also have a jimmy in here of course because it's a mom movie you for sure need a jimmy you need a frankie in there right i don't think there was a frankie but there was a duffy little jackie literally says you know be happy with what I'm giving you because obviously, you know, he doesn't need to give her, them anything, but be happy, shut up, and like get out, you know. So obviously the ladies are just like, no, they're not going to stand for this. They, they need to be able to make the rent. They need to be able to provide for the family. So they're like, well, we got to figure out what we need to do to be able to survive. So possibly within like the first, I would say like 15 to 20 minutes, it's pretty much where the plan of we're gonna need to do something and we're gonna this is what we're gonna do happen i think just like a few days passed from when they went to jail kathy went to unemployment they told her nothing's available especially for somebody who doesn't have a degree who has no experience and that was pretty much the end for her she's like there's there's nothing out there i kind of wish they had struggled a little bit more oh and by the way this uh mob movie is not about drugs it's not about guns it's not about like sex this literally is just about power and respect and who has the most territory who can offer the protection this is how they're getting their money is by the small businesses um in the area paying them for protection and of course, little Jackie wasn't happy with this and was like, you know, you guys better watch out. He ended up um, trying to attack Claire first. Unfortunately for little Jackie, when he was assaulting her, this is when Gabriel came in, which is played by Dom Gleason. Now, Dom, he's kind of a little bit unhinged. Apparently, he was like the hitman before and had a lead. He literally came back for Claire because he's always been in love with her. I'm going to go ahead and just talk about the characters in general. So we're going to go ahead and start off with Claire, which is Elizabeth Moss. She really was basically like the muscle in it. I really liked how they started her off as being this abused wife and then like kind of grows into this like murderous lady. You know, I mean, she's like an assassin and you know, she's like cleaning up bodies and like throwing them in the ocean, lake, whatever. And she's just like calm about it. Even like her first kill, which was a homeless guy, she literally just walked up and like shot him like nothing uh tiffany haddish plays ruby honestly i love tiffany in this movie i feel like a dramatic role fits her better than comedy i feel like it went a little bit more easier it flowed better 
sometimes I feel like she really tries to push the comedy and it might fall short. I hope to see her in more dramatic roles. She was one that kind of gave you one of those oh moments there at the end. But if you really follow the storyline, there are a lot of clues that kind of lead you to that. I honestly suspected her early on. Mind you, Tiffany is one that made this big deal. Not like a deal, but like an actual like deal with somebody from uh, Brooklyn that really like helped them out in a lot of ways. And Kathy, which is played by Melissa McCarthy, which is basically like the leader, but she really tries to do for her community and finding jobs for everybody. And I honestly, you know, Melissa can't do any wrong in my book. I love Melissa McCarthy. She's absolutely wonderful. And I've seen her in dramatic uh, performances before. And honestly, throughout the movie, I was looking out for Ben Falcone, which is Melissa's husband, because he, he's usually in all her movies. Um, I didn't see him in this one unless I completely missed him. But he usually at least has like a line or two. It's literally always just like a small little cameo. I didn't spot him, but if he was there, even in the background, and I just didn't catch him, let me know in the comment section below. Um, all of them, you know, they were the bad guys. They just didn't really realize how bad they really were. But honestly, they were just a little bit worse than the men. And I don't blame them just because they do have to prove themselves more than a man would in this position. So obviously when they get out of prison, they're not very happy with the lady that they took over their business. And basically, they made it succeed way more than what the men did. So that right there should prove how great like us females are that we're able to get your little shitty business and we made it into like this bigger thing. Jimmy, which is Kathy's uh, husband, is all like, what do you expect for me to just be here at home? Oh my God, I'm trying to do like a Jersey accent and it's horrible. <laughs> that totally came out of nowhere, you guys. With the kid, while you go and play mobster, which again, I get different time regardless, but like, if she's able to do the work better than you, then yes. I don't think I've ever really seen a mobster movie with female leads. And if there is, let me know down below. Let me go ahead and wrap this up. Do I recommend the movie? Yes, I do. I think it's such a great movie. It's not even long. kind of wish it was a little bit longer. Like, if this movie can, like, switch its time with Hobbs and Shaw, that would be great. Because some times the story went a little bit too fast and how they got to where they got was a little bit like mm, and I really I think just kind of has to do with that this was um the director's tutorial debut so I do feel like some parts should have been extended just a tad bit more I think it would have made the kitchen even uh better if we did get that extra time and got a few things a little bit more expanded on the storyline yeah. so from the three movies that are coming out this week which ones do i recommend for you to go and see art and racing in the rain like i said in my review i do like the movie don't get me wrong i just don't think it's worth your money at the theaters make that a family night at home dora and the lost city of gold the kitchen which of the two you should watch ultimately it just kind of depends what category you fall on to be honest with you so dora definitely go and see that if you have kids uh, I think it's a great movie to basically finish their summer with. Well, if Dora was your childhood, definitely go and see that. If you're maybe older than 25, no kids, I think you should definitely check out this movie. I think you're going to really enjoy it. Or, you know, if you are a parent, take the kids to like the matinee show to see Dora. And then, you know, like make it a date night and watch The Kitchen. I don't know just an idea. if you've seen the movie let me know down in this comment section below what you guys thought about it did you like it did you dislike it what are your thoughts about tiffany being in a dramatic role and of course don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll be seeing you at concessions bye